As I said in my last video, Mother's Day in Japan is coming up soon. It's on the 12th of May, so I had to get something for my mom. I constantly think about everything that I see and I'm like, oh my god, my mom is gonna love this. Today, I was on a mission to find a poster that was signed by Junji Ito in Shinjuku. And I also wanted to get another disposable camera, so I went to Kitamura Camera. And finally, they had the camera that I was looking for, the Fujifilm green one. If you're in any way, shape, or form a photography fanatic, you need to come here. They have used cameras as well as new and all kinds of equipment that you will probably never find anywhere but anyway here's the bookstore where the poster was supposed to be but I actually stumbled on a Attack on Titan pop-up shop instead. And in the end, I think I went to the wrong place. Like I was at the right location, but I think I was looking in the wrong spot or something. But I was lucky enough to have this pop-up store here, so content was definitely made. <laughs> I was thinking, should I get something? Like how often am I gonna come across an Attack on Titan pop-up store? But I didn't. Anyway, this is where the poster was supposed to be, CO2, but it wasn't there. As I said, maybe just wrong place. Finally saw this popular magazine, and then I also came across this. Okay, shout out to Blue Lock. I really wanted to go to this one cafe called Yorozu Chaya near Sensuji, but I honestly underestimated like the ride. I know it's a long journey. It's always a long journey. It's almost like an hour. Well, it is an hour to get there. But for whatever reason, it just felt so long until I got to that place. I was so done with it already. By the way, if you're ever going in the Sensuji area, take the Ginza line and not the Asakusa line. It's so dead there. Like for some reason, the carts are really comfortable and empty. Anyway, fine. Finally, here we are. I was actually the only customer here, but they have a QR code that you can scan and you get the menu in English. This place is famous for having really extravagant desserts that are really kind of expensive, honestly. Here's the drink menu. I got a blue Hawaii cream soda. I had to be extra with it. I traveled so long that, you know, at this point I might as well. Strawberry pancakes and a blue Hawaiian cream soda. So you pull up the plastic film and everything comes tumbling down. And of course I have to organize it a little bit because it looked kind of messy. The strawberries were massive and the blue Hawaiian soda was actually minty. I wasn't really expecting that. But I went at the checkout and look at this. This is Bulgarian. It's a Bulgarian bell. <laughs> I think it's actually a cup, but they turned it into a bell. Anyway, I walked back to Sensuji and I got tempted by the souvenir shops once again. I went to this one place and I got something here. I won't show you what. Once again, it's a gift, but they gave me like this sticker the voucher thing so of course i was on a mission i had to go get it because i'm not leaving out those stickers i love stickers i've always loved stickers your girl literally had sticker albums here it is you better believe they went into my book right away so here i came across these girls who were asking people to do a survey for a free bar like a vegan bar so i kind of took mercy upon them because i saw no one was stopping to do their survey so I did it. It was all like vegan questions and I'm very far from being vegan. I can't get over the golden flame slash poop. Like that does not look like a flame. The architect knew what he was doing. I'm sorry, but there's just no way. At this point, it was going to start raining and the closest museum was the Hokusai Museum, which was my goal actually. There's like a manhole here of the Kanagawa wave, but I never ended up finding it. Anyway, we're going there, but listen to this. Okay. There was like a school assembly or something and the kids were playing all these instruments. I came late and I couldn't see it on time, like their performance. I stuck around a little bit in hopes that they would start playing again, but they never did. Anyway, here's the museum. It's built around the area where Hokusai actually lived. I got my ticket and the third and fourth floor were where I was going. You might have seen my Instagram stories on this, but it turns out that the famous Kanagawa wave and the Mount Fuji painting was actually not there. It's in freaking California. <laughs> wisteria season is upon us boys anyway that was the day on to the next today we're going to okpo station aka basically koreatown today i felt like eating something called sotok sotok and i found this place randomly okay randomly it was like a hundred more like it but i was just like eh, this looks pretty interesting also these signs i can't get over them npc 24 hours same when i was walking to the place by the way i noticed something here on the street and i'll talk about it a little bit later because everything made sense and i didn't realize it made sense at this very moment but i connected the dots later so i'll tell you so i get my sotok sotok and of course your girl has a talent for picking literally the most popular spot on the block i'm telling you there was like a hundred more places exactly like this but for some reason this just was the crowded one the marketer and me would love to tell you why that is but koreatown was bouncing today it was really really 
really busy. K-pop songs were blasting from every single side. Every restaurant, by the way, had a sign that BTS had been in it. So there were lines and lines and lines. But I went into this like fake press on nails place and they actually gifted me like the glue and the stickers, even though I don't even use those. But thank you. If anyone is looking for press on nails, go to the Ludia nail shop. They sell really cheap ones. Also, these guys were promoting like their host club, I think. They were so noisy. <laughs> Walking through here generally felt like, oh my god, like I feel like I'm at home right now. And then I saw this ramen and they don't sell these back home. But I kept seeing like so many videos about them. I was like, oh my god, should I get one? And then I noped. I knew I was gonna go into Don Quixote later and I did. And I just can't, like I'm so overwhelmed every time I walk into one of these stores. So visually and just everything overly stimulated. Look at the floor even. <laughs> I was so tempted by these miniatures. You cannot imagine. Oh my gosh, they're so freaking cute. Like that sitting on your desk, isn't that the cutest thing ever? And then I saw it was 20 bucks and I was like, okay, it's not that cute. It's not a bad price, but you know, I could get so many things for 20 euro. Here's what it feels like being in Donkey. <laughs> It's a loud mess. Like you hear 20 ads running at the same time. Anyway, I got my stuff and I was out of there. So here's the thing I wanted to talk about. Scientology. I walk past this building on the way to Koreatown. Something catches the corner of my eye and it's these books that are with English words. And it's the author's name that truly catches my attention, which is L. Ron Hubbard. That's one of those names that I will never forget. It's the author of all the books that basically make up Scientology. So I thought this was just like a bookstore and I was like, why are they displaying that? That book out of all books. Well, it all makes sense now. Ain't no way, bro. I didn't know I got to Japan as well, but here's my haul. What is up, y'all? It's Teddy, believe it or not. And Haikyuu, Hinata always mentioned how when he walks into like the stadium thing, it smelled like salompas. I don't know what this product is actually, you know? I had to look up what it is. Like, I get that it's a patch, but what about it? Was it only for sports people that they use or like, you know? Maybe it became popular because people started watching Haikyuu and suddenly it's like, I don't know, a thing. Even though you don't even play sports, you just buy it like a souvenir. <laughs> I want to smell it. Like he keeps talking about this smell and I have no idea what he's talking about. Oh, pff, that's quite strong. It smells like chewing gum. Like hubba bubba. Anyway, this is what it looks like. It looks like um, cloth, you know? It feels velvety. I'll come back to you, maybe we'll talk about the effects, but I'm gonna assume that it feels nice. Big whoop, you know? <laughs> I put it over here and I thought there was like a breeze coming in on my shoulder. <laughs> it feels really cooling. It's very, very minty on the skin is the best way I can describe it. It feels really nice but like cold at the same time. The night I was finally meeting up with my friends and I was so freaking excited. Oh my gosh. Like, first of all, meeting a uni friend on the other side of the world is crazy as it is because she lives elsewhere too. But also like the company was just so needed, you know? We went to a sushi place and then we went to a bar, which was really, really cute. It's called Ink Cocktails. If you ever come visit it, it's really, really pleasant and nice atmosphere. And then it was time for them to go and I was so sad. They were like, I wish we could stay longer. And I was like, I wish so too. But that's the end of this vlog.